The Warhammer franchise is getting tons of games lately, and it's a really good time to be a Warhammer fan. 10th edition is coming out later this month, and it has a lot of hype behind it, and the franchise overall is doing really damn well. I mean, Games Workshop is just reeling in boatloads of cash for plastic crack as it is, <laughs> but with lots of games coming out, it's an avenue that GW seems to be realising can be a very good market to put some projects into. Some of these games are made by large studios with lots of thought and planning put into them. Other games, like Orc Speed Freaks, is made by smaller development teams. But I gotta be honest here. Honestly, it blew me away. <laughs> Plays Breaking Benjamin. <laughs> but... Yeah, it had a free open alpha a couple of weeks ago, and I put a few hours into it before I had to leave for a trip. I know that many people may instantly overlook it, because it's like, oh, it's an orc game. Ha ha, yes, very funny. These orcs are so crazy. Let me just go back to painting my space marines. But look, hear me out. This game is actually really fun, and it has some surprising depth and potential behind it. So now that you know the details, let's get stuck into it. The concept for this game is really simple. You control an orc vehicle, which can range from various base models, or in this case, classes, and it's a mix between a race and a team deathmatch game. All of the vehicles have a plethora of guns with absolute loads of DACA. <laughs> it's a simple, but it's a cool idea that really surprised me. Uh, visually, it looks good, and the developers had enough sense to make the environments feel varied, but not over the top, so you can still focus on the game, and especially performance-wise, I can appreciate the fact that I can be racing around the map without everything becoming a pixelated mess. Uh, I actually didn't have any crashes or any big bugs or issues, which is, for something in alpha, a really damn good thing. Um, and the cars are the main focus. They are very detailed themselves, uh, and the environments are simplistic in some ways, but I would say that this is on purpose. Uh, the maps themselves are large, but they're not confusing, and they have a nice smattering of buildings and structures that you can use for cover. It's a really cool feeling when you're getting hunted down, and you end up outplaying the enemy, and you just ride off into the sunset with a cheeky grin, uh, and <laughs> there's a lot of cool moments that I had. Uh, during the alpha, we only had access to one game mode, but I think that this is the main version that people will be aiming to play play. Uh, an objective spawns on the map, and teams must race to capture it and hold it. You get extra points for being the first one there to capture it, and then a steady stream of points if you control it. Yeah, okay, pretty simple, but this is where it gets interesting. They don't spawn you on opposite sides of the map at first. You start on the same side of the map, and it's a really simple but genius move because players instantly have to choose between fighting each other or racing for the objective. Uh, you get extra points for killing enemies, so it's a constant decision of what to prioritize, and when the timer ends, you then race to the next objective, rinse and repeat. But when the game is over, you then have to race to the finish line, with the first couple of places getting a 
bunch of extra points as well. So even if your team is down at the end, there is still a chance if you absolutely blast it to the finish line. I love the variety in the classes with various vehicles having a wide range of strengths and weaknesses, and it feels like each one can be extremely powerful if you know what you're doing. Uh, as an Aussie, I don't know if many other people had this problem, but my connection was absolutely trash. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I was playing it over 300 ping for a lot of it, so some of the vehicles were just genuinely hard for me to use, but I really enjoyed using the massive tank and uh, the speedy claw tricycle, though those two are my absolute favourites. All of the weapons are really orky, and yeah, the game is in a general sense a, a very wacky styled game, but to me at least, it has a lot of small things that you don't notice at first until you spend a bit more time with it. Uh, certain vehicles are more effective shooting at enemies on a certain side of it, like the Grot Tank, which has a turret on the back and the front. So if you're shooting in front of you or behind you, only one of those turrets will actually end up doing damage. But if the enemy is on your side, then both of those turrets will work. A and when you figure it out, it's like, oh shit, was that on purpose? Or, or, or is that just a happy accident? I don't know. Uh, apparently the, the developers said that orcs made the game and that's why the physics are really whack. <laughs> um, so to me, there's been a whole lot of love and care into making this game more than just a couple of hours of just, you know, uh, oh, like, you know, oh, these crazy orcs. Ha ha ha. It actually has a little bit of depth to it. And there's a lot of variety with the different vehicles uh, and potentially with other game modes and customizations. This could be a really awesome experience and a great gateway entrance to other Warhammer games and the overall franchise. You, you don't need to know lots about Warhammer or Space Marines or the Emperor and humanity. You, you don't need to digest 10 hours of lore to understand the game. It's just dumb orcs hitting each other on the head because those gits are up to something. <laughs> the, the game itself is currently in alpha, but if by some miracle it's able to release by October, that would be pretty freaking awesome. And I, I think a bit of polish around would make for a fantastic time. But that's pretty much about it for today. Just a shorter sort of video to let you all know that this is definitely a game that I would pay attention to. It's really fun, and hopefully the final game is able to build on what we already have. I would be really interested to know what you all think about this game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and I hope that some of you have also had a chance to check it out. If not... Are you interested in something like this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, make sure that you like and subscribe. But I have been Kiv, and I will see you all on the next one.